Okay, once you have figured out the la latitude and longitude of your location, we go to the Sun Earth tool and figure out where, where all the Sun stuff is. Okay, to do that, go ahead and go to a uh, full interactive map on the left hand side bar right there. Full interactive map. And click on that. Close this. And you should get something that looks like this. The default for this thing is, I don't know why, but it's always set to like Manhattan, <laughs> New York. What we want to do is to input our own uh, location. And to do that, you could go ahead and search. You could type in Mount Sac or type in the latitude longitude. And for that, um, just as a hint, if you open this up, it will give you example point right here, right? So type in kind of like what we have on our numbers, 34.04 eight seven okay and it has a comma and then a negative number one seventeen point eight four two one remember this is a coordinate for Mount Sac so if we said search and it finds it we are on the Mount Sac campus. We are here. Somehow it likes the business building better. <laughs> and you could scroll in or out of this thing. And this is basically the path of the sun. That's what this is trying to show. But if we go back a little bit, um, you could go ahead and show the solar. You could basically figure out what you wanted to show. You wanted to show the solstice? Yes. And a tim up, I don't know if we need to show the solar disk. Solar disk is just this um the sun looking thing. Err, okay, see if I see if I can show everything all at once. Okay. And that should be fine. And if we say execute it's gonna do just that this one isn't showing the solar disk and if we go up to here it will show the disk it will show the solar disk but anyways what wait a minute I don't see what the difference is um, one rule to follow is that we do we want to check the daylight savings time off okay that's gonna be kind of important because that's gonna set where the where the 12 o'clock noon is. Since uh, the daylight saving times kind of screw up our coordination with time, the actual clock time and actual spatial time, um, yeah. So check this off, execute, and you'll notice that the 12 o'clock is more towards the south right there. Okay. All right, and then, so there we go. We could also um, figure out where on Earth um, the sun is going to be, or sorry, what we need to do is figure out when is the uh, solstice and the equinox. Okay. Once you got this thing down, go ahead and uh, go back one to the solar tools and it as long as you don't hit anything else it should still remain in that location on earth go down to the sunset sunrise sunrise sunset uh, calendar and it'll show us the same thing again except right now it has the calendar on there with all the dates and time of when the sunrise and sunset is and each day of the each day of the year okay uh, however this isn't enough information we're gonna have to put in the azimuth 
noon and elevation so click on all three of these the daylight just tells you how many hours of sunlight there are in each day but all we really need is these three and notice that right here it says date sunrise sunset uh, on, on March 1st the sunrise is at 6 19 in the morning sunset is at 17 uh, 48 which will be minus 12 5 o'clock right almost 6 o'clock okay so once we say execute again we'll notice that these will expand okay so we wanted to know the sunrise and the degree the azimuth how high or where we're on earth the sun is rising from and where on earth the sun is rising sun setting to and at noon what degree of the sun from the horizon or what degree is the sun from the horizon due south so these are the these are the information that we need to show and now we're going to figure out the the days that we need you could even do this you could figure out when your birthday is right and you could tell uh, when the sunrise is going to be, when the sunset's going to be, where on the, we're on, oh, we're on the elevation with the sun be at noon. But for our path, what we need to do is figure out um, where the sun and sunset is at the solstice and the equinox. Okay, so we're going to leave this a little bit and figure out when that is.